I don't know whether you've ever found this like I have when you say something, you share something that you're finding difficult um, or you're struggling with and someone says to you, I know exactly what you mean. And then they very quickly go on to demonstrate why they really don't know exactly what you mean. I remember being reminded at college and I've reminded myself of it many times since that it's not really a very helpful thing to say to somebody, is it? I had an um, interesting um, conversation with someone on Twitter the other day because they were sharing about the fact that they were uh, really desperate to have some space away from their family. They needed just that time alone. And I uh, replied to them and said, yeah, I get that that's how you're feeling. But for me, it's the opposite. I need to see other people. Whatever we're going through, um, there's always that sense that we are going through it on our own, isn't there? That we are struggling with it on our own because no one else gets it. And there is a lot of truth in that when we think about what's going on in the world and for ourselves. But this verse in scripture reminds us that there is someone who gets it. There is someone who knows what we mean. We're reminded in this verse in scripture that Jesus, who, don't forget, was fully human, was tempted in every way, that he knows our weaknesses, was tempted in every way. Of course, he managed not to sin, but he does get what we're going through. So whatever you are facing today, I want to remind you and encourage you to recognise that Jesus, who was fully human, who was tempted in every way, who knows our weaknesses, knows what we mean. If you're unsure, bring those things before him. Place them in his hands because he does understand. That is the beauty of having a Lord and Saviour who has walked where we walk.